Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what is in this package. We're gonna find out together. As per usual, if it is something I can link, it will be linked right down below in the description of this very video. Uh, you can um, use that link if you want to. It's entirely up to you, but it does help my channel. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I don't know who sent it. I have a guess, just based on the, because you can kind of see the, you know, outline of the package here. <laughs> if you squeeze it. <laughs> Kubi, all right, okay. Thanks, Kubi. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> Kubi's usually um, got some pretty good budget stuff. I'm gonna guess that this is a budget knife based on that. Did not did did not cut the thing right. Don't cut towards yourself. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. Oh, okay, all right, okay, we got a little bit of a bigger guy here, that's good. I'm always happy to see, you know, anywhere from standard full size to larger size knives in what I assume is budget territory, because my God, people, do we have enough small knives. Knife manufacturers, OEMs, designers, and whoever you are, right? All your aunts and your uncles and your pets and everybody, all ears, listen, open them up. We have enough small knives. I like small knives, they're great. We got enough, okay? Look at that, that's a little bit weird, okay. Um, yeah, what's the steel here? Oh, it's Aus 10 again. What's the deal? I like this knife, this is cool. Nice, you know, full-size knife. Um, the last few Kubis that were sent, to me, were all in Aus 10, which is not a fancy steel at all. Uh, not, not in the slightest. And all the prices were curiously much higher than what I normally see from Kubi. So I don't know what kind of weird Rolodex nonsense is going on, right? It kind of feels like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign where you roll a, you're like, oh, well, that's a weird outcome, but okay, you know? <laughs> like, that, that's kind of what it makes me think of. Um, I have no idea what the price of this is at this moment, right? By the time you guys are watching this, I will obviously have figured it out and linked it down below, right? But you guys can use that link if you want to go see. Flipping action is very good. Kubi quality, as per usual, is on point. Overall execution, very, very good. Feels really comfortable outside of this. Got a little bit of a dragon build thing going. It's a very, very Civivi-esque pocket clip. Doesn't need to be nearly this long. This Loch Ness monster thing we got going on here is completely and totally unnecessary. Shave it off at about here, right? You can feel that in the hand. But the knife design itself, here's the designer, right? Which I believe I've actually reviewed multiple of his designs. The design of this is really nice. Uh, and we have a nice tall blade, minimal flat, lots of room to drop. I mean, the, you know... It's a flat ground blade, but it does drop fairly aggressively, so you end up with a nice thin edge down here. Good access to the lock bar. This is shaved down slightly, so you can make use of the nubs. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, it's in my carta, which is another one of those things like, ah, huh? my carta, huh? And that'll be another $25, right? It's one of those things where we're not, I'm not really sure why, but... I, I have a feeling that I it's wishful thinking at this point for it to be, um, you know, uh, a, a budget knife. But what I'm handling here feels like it's about a fifty dollar knife max. You know, forty five, fifty bucks. I have a feeling it's not going to be that. Um, I would like to see, um, you know, Kubi nail down uh, some super duper inexpensive knives in D two. Um, and I'd like to see them continue to utilize 14C28N for knives that are going to cost between $60 and $75. Um, but um, this, uh, in no way, shape, or form, this should not be over. This should be nowhere near the $75 mark, which is where, that's the cutoff for me to call it a budget knife, right? I don't know. 
I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to review this knife. What you're watching right now is not a review. It's literally just an unboxing and first impressions. This would be an absolutely terrible review if that's what this was um, because it's based on very, very little. Um, the flipper tab is an interesting shape. I wonder why. I bet that's, well, no. Why is that Why is that corner shaved off? Just to make it not look like a rectangle, I guess. It's easy to push button. Flipper tab itself is knocked down nice enough. These are just standard, like, lipped liners. I do like the color of the micarta. This is a little more, I don't know if I want to call it burlappy. It's a little hairy, a little fuzzy. I don't know if I want to call it hairy. It's a little fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of uh, burlap, right? It feels like, um, <clears throat> let me think about this. It feels a lot like um, like turf, right? Or like you're petting like an outside cat. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not a cat that, that gets a regular bath, right? I don't know. It kind of, it feels a lot like a, a uh, like a really dirty toothbrush, right? A very well-loved, but certainly needs to go in the trash now because it's old toothbrush. It's just not, it doesn't feel good on the hand, right? Um, but this is all right. I like this and I certainly like the color. You can absolutely call this green. A lot of companies will, you know, they'll try to call this. They'll be like, oh yeah, it's OD green. This is brown, okay? And I'm not exaggerating, all right? We got a lot of we got a lot of companies who are like, this is OD green. No, it isn't. This is brown. This is baked bean brown. This is green, right? There should be no confusion over this, but for some reason there is. Um, okay, we're getting off track here. What's the actual name of this knife? I mean, you guys can actually, you can just go. Is it? It's called the Master Chief? As in like from Halo? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I mean, it's green. Okay. That's fine. Uh, good design. L like the design. Not a big fan of the clip. Looks good. Handsome looking knife. Larger guy. Not a, it's not a huge knife, right? Length is coming in. Yeah, it's, I mean, I call this full size, eight inches, three and a half inch blade. That's full size in my book. Happy about that. Aus 10, that's fine if you're going to keep it around 45 bucks, right? Or less. Aus 10A is not 14C28 n It's not Nitro V. It's not 154CM, right? It's not those steels. Aus 10 and Aus 10A, which is the same thing with a top hat and a monocle, right? Um, no. Those are, those are inexpensive. Those are, you know, like you, you can, you can have that in the same OS 8, the, the, uh, 440C, you know, your, uh, <laughs> that kind of HCR 13 MOV, those, those types of steels, right? Um, the balance is okay. It'll work, right? Um, but it's, you know, this is a, a super budget steel for sure. Okay. There's no more that I really need to say about it. I mean, I, I somehow I turned this into an eight-minute video. It doesn't need to be. You'll get a full review of this a few weeks down the road from now. Thanks again to Kubi for sending it in. Check out Kubi Knives down below. They've got a lot of great stuff. Definitely some stuff with uh, better steels, in my opinion. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.